Hello everyone today's we are talking about. Canada government changing won't rule out. Changing immigration and new express entry occupation list. Welcome to a special report on the dynamic landscape of Canadian immigration policies and targets. In this video, we explore the Canadian government's response to the housing challenges and its potential impact on immigration targets. Additionally, we unveil the latest updates on the Express Entry Certificate of Qualification Occupation List. Join us as we navigate through these significant developments in Canada's immigration landscape. Canadian government won't rule out changing immigration targets to address housing challenges, Fraser says. Canada's housing minister says the federal government isn't ruling out changes to its ambitious immigration targets but maintains the country should also focus on what it can do to increase housing supply when it comes to addressing current housing challenges. When we look to the future of immigration levels planning, we want to maintain ambition and immigration, but we want to better align our immigration policies with the absorptive capacity of communities that includes housing, that includes health care, that includes infrastructure. Fraser said he believes the federal government has some work to do with its temporary immigration programs, which currently operate on the basis of demand in an uncapped way. But doesn't necessarily need to reduce the number of newcomers who become permanent residents each year. It's common for almost half of those individuals to already be in Canada as temporary residents, he noted. Before making any changes, however, Fraser said the federal government would have to consult with other levels of government since deciding which institutions take in international students is within the purview of provincial governments as well as institutions that have a duty to play part of a role in housing the people who come here. He also stressed that conversations around addressing the country's housing crisis should not solely revolve around immigration it's important that when we're looking at the answer to our housing challenges, we also focus on what we can do to increase the supply the minister said. I think it's essential that we remember that immigration remains one of Canada's strongest competitive advantages in the global economy. Fraser introduced Canada's ambitious immigration targets in November 2022 when he was the federal immigration minister, with the goal of bringing in 465,000 permanent residents in 2023, 485,000 in 2024 and 500,000 in. At the time, he said the move was necessary to ensure Canada's economic prosperity, by helping businesses find workers to fill in labour gaps and to attract the skills required in key sectors including health care, skilled trades, manufacturing, and technology. Academics, commercial banks, opposition politicians, and policy thinkers, however, have been warning the federal government the country's high-growth immigration strategy is exacerbating Canada's housing crisis. Top Headlines on Canadian Politics All in One Place In a July report, economists from TD estimated that if the current immigration strategy continues, Canada's housing shortfall could widen by about half a million units in just two years' time. The Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation has estimated the country needs to build 3.5 million more homes by 2030 than it is currently on track for, to help achieve some semblance of housing affordability. Fraser previously said putting a cap on the number of international students permitted to study in this country is one of the solutions the federal government is discussing when it comes to addressing housing affordability and rental availability. But when speaking with Capellas on Sunday, he said his preference is to continue to welcome significant numbers of international students. Because the program is good for Canada, both in the short term and the long term when you create a pipeline of potential new citizens. Fraser said the federal government, along with its provincial and institutional partners, have to ensure that international students many of whom have reported struggles to find affordable and adequate housing in Canada are supported and communities have the capacity to absorb them when they arrive here. If we were going to shift the way that we operate, to set a target or to align the numbers with the housing capacity, it's a monumental change in the way that Canada does immigration, Fraser said. That doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. But it does mean if we're seeking to make a permanent change to the way that Canada's immigration laws operate, we have to do it right. Welcoming people to Canada who are making a productive contribution to the country's economy is essential, Fraser said, adding he doesn't want to lose that. 
New Let's Talk About New Express Entry Certificate of Qualification Occupation List The IRCC officially updated the list of trade occupations eligible for Express Entry Certificates of Qualification on September 8, 2023. This list now has a total of 101 occupations. The best thing about this is that there is no need for previous work experience in any of these occupations, you just need to get a certificate of qualification for one of these 101 occupations. Full list of 101 occupations eligible for express entry certificate of qualification. What is a certificate of qualification? How to get a certificate of qualification in Canada? A certificate of qualification awards up to 50 additional comprehensive ranking system, CRS, points to an express entry profile. Furthermore, there is no need for a job offer from a Canadian employer to get these additional points. So if you are someone inside Canada with a valid express entry profile or are planning on making one, then we can suggest enrolling in one of these skilled trades programs. Once getting fluent in one of these trades, you can then clear an examination to get a certificate of qualification from one of the Canadian provinces. There are also high chances that we could now see express entry draw for transport and trade occupations. Full list of 101 occupations eligible for express entry certificate of qualification. Landscape and horticulture technicians and specialists, 22,114. Drafting technologists and technicians, 22,212. Electronic service technicians, household and business equipment, 22311. Industrial instrument technicians and mechanics, 22,312. Chefs, 62,200. Cooks, 63,200. Butchers, retail and wholesale, 63,201. Bakers, 63,202. Hairstylists and barbers, 63,210. Contractors and supervisors, machining, metal forming, shaping and erecting trades and related occupations, 72,010. Contractors and supervisors, electrical trades and telecommunications occupations, 72,011. Contractors and supervisors, pipe fitting trades, 72,012. Contractors and supervisors, carpentry trades, 72,013. Contractors and supervisors, other construction trades, installers, repairers and servicers, 72,014. Contractors and supervisors, mechanic trades, 72,020. Contractors and supervisors, heavy equipment operator crews, 72,021. Supervisors, printing and related occupations, 72,022. Supervisors, railway transport operations, 72,023. Supervisors, motor transport and other ground transit operators, 72,024. Supervisors, mail and message distribution occupations, 72,025. Machinists and machining and tooling inspectors, 72,100. Tool and die makers, 72,101. Sheet metal workers, 72,102. Boiler makers, 72,103. Structural metal and plate work fabricators and fitters, 72,104. Iron workers, 72,105. Welders and related machine operators, 72,106. Six. Electricians, except industrial and power system, 72,200. Industrial electricians, 72,201. Power system electricians, 72,202. Electrical power line and cable workers, 72,203. Telecommunications line and cable installers and repairers, 72,204. Telecommunications equipment installation and cable television service technicians, 72,205. 
Plumbers, 72,300. Steam fitters, pipe fitters, and sprinkler system installers, 72,301. Gas fitters, 72,302. Carpenters, 72,310. Cabinet makers, 72,311. Bricklayers, 72,320. Insulators, 72,321. Construction millwright and industrial mechanics, 72,400. Heavy duty equipment mechanics, 72,401. Heating, refrigeration, and air conditioning mechanics, 72,402. Railway carmen slash women, 72,403. Aircraft mechanics and aircraft inspectors, 72,404. Machine fitters, 72,405. Elevator constructors and mechanics, 72,406. Automotive service technicians, truck and bus mechanics and mechanical repairers, 72,410. Auto body collision, refinishing, and glass technicians and damage repair estimators, 72,411. Oil and solid fuel heating mechanics, 72,420. Appliance servicers and repairers, 72,421. Electrical mechanics, 72,422. Motorcycle, all-terrain vehicle and other related mechanics, 72,423. Other small engine and small equipment repairers, 72,429. Crane operators, 72,500. Water well drillers, 72,501. Other technical trades and related occupations, 72,999. Concrete finishers, 73,100. Tile setters, 73,101. Plasterers, drywall installers and finishers and lathers, 73,102. Roofers and shinglers, 73,110. Glaciers, 73,111. Painters and decorators, except interior decorators, 73,112. Floor covering installers, 73,113. Residential and commercial installers and services, 73,200. General building maintenance workers and building superintendents. 73,201, pest controllers and fumigators, 73,202. Other repairers and services, 73,209. Transport truck drivers, 73,300. Bus drivers, subway operators and other transit operators, 73,301. Railway and yard locomotive engineers, 73,310. Railway conductors and brakemen slash women, 73,311. Heavy equipment operators, 73,400. Printing press operators, 73,401. Drillers and blasters, surface mining, quarrying and construction, 73,402. Transat. Supervisors, logging and forestry, 82,010. Supervisors, mining and quarrying, 82,020. Contractors and supervisors, oil and gas drilling and services, 82,021. Agricultural service contractors and farm supervisors, 82,030. Contractors and supervisors, landscaping, grounds maintenance and horticulture services, 82,031. Underground production and development miners, 83,100. Oil and gas well drillers, servicers, testers and related workers, 83,101. Logging machinery operators, 83,110. Fishing masters and officers, 83,120. Fishermen slash women, 
83,121. Supervisors, Mineral and Metal Processing, 92,010. Supervisors, Petroleum, Gas and Chemical Processing and Utilities, 92,011. Supervisors, Food and Beverage Processing, 92,012. Supervisors, Plastic and Rubber Products Manufacturing, 92,013. Supervisors, Forest Products Processing, 92,014. Supervisors, Textile, Fabric, Fur and Leather Products Processing and Manufacturing, 92,015. Supervisors, Motor Vehicle Assembling, 92,020. Supervisors, Electronics and Electrical Products Manufacturing, 92,021. Supervisors, Furniture and Fixtures Manufacturing, 92,022. Supervisors, Other Mechanical and Metal Products Manufacturing, 92,023. Supervisors, Other Products Manufacturing and Assembly, 92,024. Power Engineers and Power Systems Operators, 92,100. Water and Waste Treatment Plant Operators, 92,101. Central Control and Process Operators, Mineral and Metal Processing, 93,100. Central Control and Process Operators, Petroleum, Gas and Chemical Processing, 93,101. Pulping, Papermaking and Coating Control Operators, 93,102. To receive Skill Transferability Factor CRS points for a Certificate of Qualification in a Trade Occupation, the certificate must be issued by a province or territory's governing body for trades. What is a Certificate of Qualification? A Certificate of Qualification demonstrates that an individual is qualified to work in a particular skilled trade, i.e., that they have passed a certification exam and satisfy all requirements to practice their trade in that province or territory. How to get a Certificate of Qualification in Canada In Canada every province or territory has its own certification process and Certificate of Qualification requirements. You can visit the below listed websites of the regulatory authority based on your province or territory of interest. 1. Alberta 2. British Columbia 3. Manitoba 4. New Brunswick 5. Newfoundland and Labrador 6. Northwest Territories 7. Nova Scotia 8. Nunavut 9. Ontario 10. Prince Edward Island 11. Saskatchewan 12. Yukon Thank you for joining us in this insightful exploration of the Canadian government's response to housing challenges and the evolving express. Entry Certificate of Qualification Occupation List As Canada adapts its immigration policies to address pressing issues, it's essential to stay informed and engaged in the discussion surrounding these changes. We'll continue to keep you updated on the latest developments in Canadian immigration, so stay tuned for more valuable insights and information. That is over today in video. Thanks for watching entire video. Hopefully information useful to you. See you later in next video.